show you a couple of more projects that I'm doing for uh, the craft fairs. And also, uh, I'm making it especially for my two granddaughters, um, and their names are Miranda and Andrea. And I was with them in a couple a couple weeks ago up in Michigan, and they wanted to make a few things. So we played around with some junk journals, and they got a little bit inspired, and they've decided to also go to a craft show. So I'm very proud of them, and I want to show them a couple of more things that I didn't get to show them when I was there. So you may have seen these, but I will try and not bore you totally. Now, in my last video, you saw that I did um, some note holders for sticky notes. Well, I found these pads and I want to let the girls know about this. These are quite large. They're not sticky notes. In fact, let me show you exactly what what they are. They're this size. And they do have the lines in them and are decorated. They're just wonderful. Now, here's the best part about these girls. I got these at Walmart. And at my Walmart, they were back hanging on a side end cap by where the material was. And it said 97 cents. And I thought, well, that's a pretty good price. When I got up to the register, they were 25 cents. That's even a better price. So needless to say, I purchased four more. So here's a couple that are done and uh, might be kind of inspiring for you. These are also a little bit larger. Let me get one here to so show you. Um, the picture frames are a little bit larger. They're this size here. Now let me turn it so you can see it. Okay, there you go. And these are seven inches by five inches. Then that'll work for you. Okay, there's one. Now I only have a couple made up, so. And here's the other one. And you have some of these kind of stickers still, but remember you can get those also uh, at the Dollar Tree. All right, I think this one's gorgeous. I just love it. I'm going to try to pull it closer so you can see. This is all sparkly. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. So that's the two things that I've done with that. Now, all of you um, crafters have probably seen these. If you haven't seen them, you've done them yourself, whatever. Um, girls, these are going to be note holders. And what they really are are mouse traps. Everyday run of the mill mouse traps. I want to get one so I can show you how to take the pieces off. And uh, I think you'll get a kick out of this. So, all right. Dollar store again. Four for a dollar. Can't beat that. What's on these? Scrap paper. Also, this one here has some little gears on it. Can you see that? The little gears and stuff. I thought it'd be kind of nice to do one kind of a male type of thing, a man type of thing. And go out to your dad's shop and have him give you some stuff. He can give you some stuff to put on here. You can put nuts and bolts and screws and all that type of thing. See how these are? Okay. Now this one I wrapped all the way around. And then I found out it's not necessary to do that. All right. I'll show you a couple more and then I want to tell you about what's going on. Here we go. All right, here's my little school one. Isn't this adorable? Now here's where the note goes, right up here, All right? And I even put some danglies on this one. Look how cute. And you can do these. I mean, these are so easy to do, and I'm going to show you a little bit in a minute. And here's another one with the school theme on it. Aren't these just too cute? Okay, so... In order to be able to use them, you've got to take a little bit of them off. And I know that there's an awful lot of videos out there showing you how to do it, but here's how I do it. I take my small nose pliers right here, and I take this totally out. So that gets rid of that, and it gets rid of this thing, because you don't need this. Throw it away. You also do not need this. So have your dad cut this off with a pair of uh, wire cutters, because you don't need it. Now when you're putting the paper on here, here's a little trick to show you. Um, when you're putting the paper on, what you want to do is you've got to get it on both ends here. 
And in between this, I, I can show you better with this one, I think. In between this are the little prongs that hold this right here. So I cut it to size to go up to these prongs and a little longer, just a hair. Then I put it on here. I lay it down. And I just run a little thing over it till it tears a little bit. And then I push it up. So I've actually pushed up so you don't have a space in here. All right. Now, these are still going to be very tight. But here's what you can also do. Can you see this? Let me see if I can show you. A lot of people have how to undo these, but this is this seems to me the simplest way. All I'm doing here is you see that little piece? I'm just clicking it back. And then everything opens up very easily. And what I did is I inked them on the side with um, just a black pen or you can you can use anything. Um, ink stamps, um, whatever you have. Uh, but have your dad set those up for you. He can do that. And I think those should be great sellers. And if you want to, all this down here is a little eye hook. See, it's round and it just screws in the bottom here. And then you can dangle some things. You might have some things with your beads that you can dangle. All right, so that's those two projects. Then here's the one I'm most excited about. At the Dollar Tree, I was there the other day and they had all the school supplies. And these are dry erase boards. And yes, they're a dollar. All right. Now, here comes the really good part. We can do some fantastic things with these. All right, let me put this aside so I can start to show you. All right. Here's one. Now I'm going to have to show you it in pieces because I, I only have my camcorder from the, the webcam. All right. Now all I've done here is cut paper, put it around, glued it on. These are those little wood cutouts that you can get at Michael's, like they're like 25 cents. And aren't these just too cute? And they come with the pen, so I've got to put the pen back in them. But these are dry erase, so they'll, they'll work very well. So I'm making a bunch of them. In fact, I just went and got five more. <laughs> Papa's going to be thrilled. All right, here's one now. University of South Carolina's big deal down here, uh, as as um, are, are sorry, some of the other ones too, like Clemson. But anyways, this is a, some trim that I had, and so then I printed these off, glued it on the same as I did the paper. No big problem there. There's a place for the pen over here in the corner and then just decorated it and that's that one this one I love 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 this is my baby one isn't this precious look at that little girl oh oops moved it the wrong way okay so what I've done with some of these things is I've just backed them with cardboard so they're raised a little bit and put them either on pop dots mom knows about those but what I do is I buy the the um, foam in the roll, the sticky foam in the roll, because it's a lot cheaper that way. And then look at the top of this. Oh, I don't know if I can get it close enough for you to see it. There it is. There it is. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Would that be adorable in a baby's room? And I did a school type one, maybe to give to a school teacher or whatever. Here's the bottom. Oh, and what I did with these is I just put a coat of Mod Podge over the top of it. Mom got Mod Podge last time we went shopping, so she can show you how to do that. Actually, I did it with my finger. Um, and then here are just some more things on the top. And now come some pretty ones. Okay, this is the bottom of this one. Can you see the little butterfly? Hi, butterfly. All right, down we go. All right, and on the top, these are some flowers that I cut out and made. This is just some fur and some burlap and some beads in the center. You guys have got some of this stuff, so you can do it. And here is another one. And this is a homemade flower also. Now, you don't have to get this technical. All right, but this one here is just made out of foam. So you could do something like that. And remember, there's always ones that are already cut out, too. So, so that's our one in black. Got a couple of pink ones here. This is the bottom of this. You see it? Okay. And this is the top, and I just made this by gathering it. Your mom probably knows how to do that, just any material. This here 
these are actually um, headbands. And they had them in a package um, four for a dollar. I got them a long, long time ago. And so um, I just glued them on here. And I think they look spectacular. And let's see, we've got the last one here. Okay, this was the first one I made that got me so excited. Here's the bottom. And here is the top. Look how cute this is. I don't know what college kid or anybody wouldn't want some of those in their room to, to leave messages with. So that's what I've been doing since I've been home and visiting you guys. And um, I really had a great time and I'm thrilled to death that you are going to be um, making some things and selling them. Uh, our one daughter Miranda is going to, I believe, New York and with the choir and Andrea is trying to earn money to um, go to Spain with the orchestra. So I'm very proud of him and I had a super time and thanks girls and thanks everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.